Hi everyone, today I'm going to give you a tour of Jesus College Cambridge. This is where I eat, sleep, study, socialise and live as a member of the University of Cambridge. We have just walked in along a pathway called the Chimney, which is the main entrance to the college. As you enter the college through the gate, you walk into First Court. This is the old Porter's Lodge. Currently it is undergoing some building works so it is not in use at the moment. Instead, there is a temporary Porter's Cabin by the entrance. Many people park their bikes down the chimney although it is a prime place for them to get stolen and the Master's Lodge entrance is also just off the chimney where the Master of the College lives. The grass of First Court is immaculate and it is strictly forbidden to walk on it. In particular, you will get in big trouble if you go and ride the horse on First Court. However, it will be legendary if you pull it off. Whilst the building works are going on, the Porter's Lodge has relocated to the Marshall Room which looks out over First Court. All students of the college have a pigeonhole in this room as well where their mail is put. The Porter's Lodge is manned 24 hours a day and the porters are always really really helpful. If you ever have a problem, the answer is usually to go to the Porter's Lodge. They've saved me when I've locked myself out my room many a time. Opposite the Porter's Lodge is the entrance to Hall. I go here every day for my meals. When it's busy, the queue for the cafeteria is usually winding all the way up these stairs. The college cafeteria is known as CAF for short. There is usually a range of hot meals to choose from on the serving stations. Everyone helps themselves to a tray, cutlery and glass of water and then you ask the catering staff for your food of choice and go and pay at the till. This is the college hall where we eat our meals at CAF. It is currently set up for a function but normally there are three long tables with wooden chairs. The walls are filled with portraits of previous masters of the college. And here are the high tables where the fellows of the college sit at formal dinners. After CAF is finished for the day, the hall is usually transformed for formal dinners. These are three course meals which we wear our gowns to and we attend on special occasions. Upper hall is up the stairs from hall. CAF dinner is sometimes relocated to upper hall when the hall is busy. Again, it is currently set up for a function. This is also the room where I matriculated, that is, I became a member of Jesus College. On your first day, you sign a book which makes you a member of Jesus College for life. As you exit Hall, you walk into Cloister Court. This is one of the smallest courts in the college, but it is also one of the prettiest and oldest parts of college. The entrance to the Jesus Chapel is also in Cloister Court. It is the oldest college chapel in Cambridge. Regular services are held here and the choral even songs with the chapel choir are very popular. Other college events are also held in the chapel including a blues and chill music night. Behind First Court we have Second Court, with plenty of weirdly shaped hedges. Most of Second Court is filled with college departments and offices. In particular, my Director of Studies has their office in this court and I have my supervisions there regularly. This is the archway where I sat and waited for my interview for the college. I can't believe that was over two years ago now. As with all courts in college, we are not allowed to walk on the grass. This is the old college bar which has since been relocated. Next to Second Court, we have Chapel Court. As you might have guessed, the College Chapel backs onto this court. It is used for undergraduate accommodation and the majority of the rooms are reserved for first year students. Almost all of the rooms are en suite and it's where I lived last year. The building blocks are divided up into staircases and each staircase has a kitchen shared between its residents. I lived in this staircase last year. Here is the view of the chapel from outside. This is the second half of Chapel Court, which houses both first and second year students, although the rooms at this end are not supposed to be as nice. There is also a laundry room in one of these staircases, which the residents of Chapel Court can use.
You can exit Chapel Court through an archway which leads to Library Court, which, you guessed it, contains the library. There is plenty of modern art to be seen around college, including these feature pieces. The Jesus College Library was opened in 1996 to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the college. As you can see, it was also opened by Her Majesty the Queen. Her son, Prince Edward, actually attended Jesus College and visited last year. The library has three floors and is one of my favourite places to study in Cambridge. There are machines which you can use to borrow books and the librarian is always on hand to help. These little rooms off the side of the library are highly sought after and are perfect if you want your own little study space. There are also plenty of booths in which you can work There are various rooms used for particular purposes such as group study and silent study. Here I am taking the spiral staircase up to the top floor. The top floor is my favourite place to study because I find it to be the quietest part of the library and it's also close to the science books section. This is the garden room, one of the places where you're allowed to talk and study in a group. And on the other side of the court, there is more accommodation used for first year undergraduate students. Here is the overall view of Library Court, complete with the modern art in the centre. Around the outskirts of the college are all the sports pitches. The large grounds of Jesus College mean that we are the only college to have our sports pitches all on site. And here is the Cricket Pavilion. This is often used for events including the Natural Sciences Society Drinks and Nibbles. Here is the college maintenance department which is next to the college tennis courts. The tennis courts are found behind North Court which is another block of undergraduate accommodation. There are lots of cycle parks around college since most students own a bike. North Court residents are a mix of first and second years. There is even more undergraduate accommodation in houses along the roads next to the college which are not featured in this video. This part of college is called the orchard, where for once you're allowed to walk on the grass. There are plenty of sculptures and artwork in between the trees. This is the entrance to the Fellows Garden, which I've only been in twice. You are not allowed to enter unless you are invited by a fellow. And now we come to Westcourt, home to the college bar and cafe. The college bar and cafe is very new, it was only opened a year or so ago, and it is arguably one of the best cafes and bars of all the Cambridge colleges. Known as the Roost Cafe during the day and J Bar at night, it is one of the best places to socialise and is used a lot by all the students at the college. It's also a great place to study over a cup of coffee. Exiting through the other side of the cafe brings you to the court itself. Here's the Jesus College shield with the Jesus cockerel. Here is the conference centre which is not used much by students. It has a big reception area and also a large lecture hall. There is also plenty of guest accommodation in West Court. I often walk through this building to get access to Marshall Court. As well as more housing, the entrance to the College Study Centre is also found here. Often known as the Study Fortress, it is a winding maze of a building where supervisions are often held. There are plenty of rooms to be booked which have whiteboards in them and tables and chairs. As always, all the whiteboard pens seem to have gone missing. 
Here we have the games room. Undergraduate students are free to use this when they like and it has a pool table and plenty of board games. Next door we have the JCR which is the undergraduate common room. It's a bit of a mess at the moment but it has a big TV which we can use to watch films on and again it's a space we are free to use whenever we like. Continuing past West Court, we reach the college gyms and squash courts. All students have free membership of the gym and there is both a cardio and weights gym. They are both used well, although not going to lie to you, I personally don't frequent this area of college too often. Lastly, we have the houses which are used for postgraduate accommodation. And that's it! So thank you very much for watching, I hope this video has given you some more insight into my life at uni, please do give it a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos to find out more about my life at uni and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!